and welcome to CS230. This is lecture 22 and this is lesson 5, the last one in the current series. And really this one is all about um, adding the modals to complete the user interface. So let's see how those modals work first before we look at how you go about implementing them. So um, let's update, let, let's say we wanted to delete um, Emily Bronte's Terry Made Me Cruel quote, for example. And the only reason I'm doing this is because um, I... Uh, I have it saved and I can add it again. So let's delete this one, okay? Nothing against Emily Bronte. Oh, and why is that not working? Ah, oh, the reason it's not working is because we're still using the view from the last from the last um, lesson. So we need to kill our we need to kill our um, our server. We need to go back into our controllers. Okay, um, you can see we're using the, just a the search view. So now let's we get the full view here. Save it. We're here, and now let's go back down to our app. Restart it, and now let's reload, and hopefully we get some functionality here. Emily didn't want to be deleted, but let's go. Okay, so now we delete, and you'll see what I like about this is that. I have made a kind of a, a shortened version of the quote, um, not long, just enough to give, let the user remind the user which one they've clicked. So a term made me um, cruel, and again by Bronte, and I've just extracted the author as well, because we've accessed all this information, and it means this particular dialogue looks a little bit nicer, okay? The model is really nice. We can get rid of the model. We don't want that. We change our mind now that we know, actually, that wasn't a want. We wanted to maybe delete Haruki Murakami's quote, for example, okay? And we notice there's, mm, there's an error there. We might fix that. Okay, a little bit with the update. So let's delete. Let's delete this. We see we got our nice dialog. And now we go back to the the, the, the list. So there's a redirection to the list. And we see that Emily's gone. Okay, now we're really sorry we did that. Now we don't have Emily Bronte in here. So let's go back up here and we look, see, Terror made me cruel. I've been playing already, as you can see, by Emily Bronte. And we can, let's say, for example, we left this out. This is the add new quotation dialog. We save. We get an error to save. That's filled. This is all handled by Bootstrap for us. So let's fix this. Save. Great. That worked. And uh, redirect. And now we see that Emily's here. Get back in again. Now we see that um, Haruki Murakami's quote here, memories warm you up from the inside, but they also turn you apart. Yeah, we made a typing error here. So let's fix this. So we update this particular one. And it's filled in the, the detail for us already. Let's change that to memories. Okay, and we'll update again. That was successful, and then um, we have the the list working fine here. There's another error here. Nowadays, people know the price of everything and the value of nothing by Wild, of course, very famous Wild quote. Let's update that one and correct it. Okay, and we're really happy. I think that everything just works out just fine. So, yep, it's good. So I'm happy. In fact, you know, we could probably have deleted this particular one, No, I'm Your Father, because it's not a literary quotation, it's a movie quotation, you know, and we could, you know, delete that, but, um, you know, we'll see from there. Okay, so that's the kind of thing, that's how the models work, the update, delete, and the add. So let's see how they all they all play nicely with, um, with Bootstrap and uh, Handlebars and Express. Okay, so here really are, are there's three there are three core models as you saw already okay in fact then there's two little ones for those the, the displays where there's errors okay it's quite a bit of code in this part here because every model will need to have the the, the code to make the model display you'll have to have code that allows us to be able to click those buttons for add update and delete and we'll also have to have what happens when we click the, sub, the submit buttons and um, so those are the event handlers around clicks, um, and it deals with the form submission, and the form submission, of course, as you can see, uh, um, is all done with Ajax, making a RESTful API call for us, and then we get the data back and we have to play with it. It's nice. Okay, so here's an ad form. I won't go through all of them in detail. Basically, it's a form um, with structure, and they're all handled, and and all the, all the various components of that form are styled using Bootstrap, and you can work through the various things. What's important, of course, is that it's a modal dialog, Okay, uh, everything's about modal content, so it knows to fade the background and, and, and styling is nice within that section, all handled nicely. What's good for us, of course, is that the form has an ID because we're going to have to add some handlers for it, um, and the action is for quotations for add and the method post. And you'll notice that they correspond exactly to the RESTful API calls. Okay, for an update, um, the update model, again, we call it the update form. 
the action is quotations and the method is put. That's exactly. Now, what's important to realize is that we can't actually use put in HTML form. If this was a regular form, we put put in there and we had a click the button that we just clicked and tried to make a put request, it wouldn't work because, you know, HTML really only likes to use get and post as part of its form. But so why do I put them here? Okay, I, because I'm, I, these are just attributes on the form ID. So once I have the form ID, I'll be able to pull out these attributes and then actually extract and know what kind of Ajax call I want to make because Ajax can make those particular calls whereas the normal form submission just can't. So that's why it's looked like this. And the structure of these, you can look at yourself at your leisure you'll find that they're pretty much the same as the the uh, uh, the others, okay? And the detail here, we have, you know, all sorts of information on accessing the various detail within here. There's IDs for, for various for various um, items that are in the, in, the, in the form. And then there's the moment for delete. So really what's important is that, you know, to remember is that that action slash Quotations, for example, or method delete, they're not possible ordinarily using the form processing, but we're going to not, we're going to bypass the normal form processing and replace it with Ajax. And that's what's a really important aspect in thing here that, that that I use. Okay. And we also have two additional models, one for success and one for failure. And again, all they do is um they they're I suppose they are, they are models in a way, but they're they're just um setting up this fading model. Um with an alert for success or failure that gives us the red or the green color and then um, um, with it with the appropriate message and you can change those to whatever you feel like okay so what's next i guess and you can add those to your to your um quotations view handlebars view template so you'll notice that after I, my my um after my search fields okay there's quotation table you know there's a search i just add the models in here there's one there's the next, there's the next, and there's the two for the alerts. Okay, and they all sit there just before our assets and our scripting. So now, speaking of scripting, we need to deal with how do we handle the add form. And you can see here, along the on, in the left hand side, here is something that allows us to be able to deal with the um, the query handlers. So this is the handler for the add modal submit. Um, using Ajax. So we know this, we get a, a reference for the form, okay, and when the submit button is clicked, we're telling it we're adding this, we're telling this is the function you call, and um, E is the event handler, and the first thing we do is we prevent the default handling. So we don't want the, the normal uh, event handling with forms because it redirects us to another page, um, ordinarily or URL or location, and then what we want to do is we want to be able to consume that RESTful API um, using Ajax and then handle it internally with, with Ajax. That's the whole point. So we make this Ajax call, we're extracting the method and the action, so it's a um, where we're going to, what, what we're going to call, slash quotations, basically in the action, get, put, add, delete. Um, for uh, an ad, we just serialize, we just get the normal data from the form, and then we um, make it happen by just um, calling, making this Ajax call. So this is the success, this is the error, and all these do is just show the, the dialogues. And you'll notice that they, they hang around for three seconds and then redirect to slash after we're done. Okay, And then, so um, we hide the model afterwards. Okay, so that's nice thing to do. So that's how we happen. How do we show and set up the modal? Well, we um, add a click handler button. Remember, we talked about that to all of the update classes. Okay. And then we pull out the information from the data in those um, link field, the, those link tags. So we pull out the data of ID, quote, and alter. So we have those set up here, access here. And then we just uh, update the modal to show it. And we just add the, the default information for updating. Straightforward. Okay. Um, and that was um, how we handle, um, that was the add form one, that's the, how we handle an update. Again, this is the update form, they're all pretty much the exact same, except, you know, we need to be able to pass an ID when we're updating as a parameter, and we're able to pull that information from, from, the, um, from the form, okay? This field in the form, we're able to pull that out, have that ID, and then we just um, make uh, an Ajax, uh, this is an update, so we make an Ajax put request here. That's fine, and it works the exact same as the other. And the delete one pulls out the ID that we're interested in deleting. We need to be able to pull that out of the form, and then we're able to make a, a, a this shows the form. It's very straightforward. And again, we just make another Ajax request, so three Ajax requests there, and it's very straightforward. And again, we use the show and hide on all the models in order to make it happen. 
Okay, and it's um, it's not too not too difficult to do, and um, but you do need to work through some of the code. And again, you know, they're they're just repeating code. So once you understand more how one works, it'll be fine. And you, and of course, you also need to understand how the the APIs work. So and how AJAX needs to have a URL, it needs to have a method, it needs to be able to get the data. Um, so if it's a an ad, we just serialize out the data because you know we we, we want to send that data. It's okay. And um, but for some of the others, for the update, we explicitly yeah we are able to serialize and extract the data so that oh, just gets the data from the form. But for the delete, we want to explicitly pull out the information that we want. Um, uh, here because we need to get the ID information, and that's all we need. Is, is because we do that as part of the URL. So there is no need to actually serialize some of the data out again there. So it's um so but it makes sense if you if you work through them it makes sense. And I've got some comments in here to help make it work for you. Okay, so that's everything really we needed to be able to build a single page application that consumes the rest of an API. And um, again, using Ajax as the core for for talking and updating the the, the API, uh, updating the database via the um, the rest of the API, and then using the handlebars um uh, for this templating to be able to nicely display our data and then you know just using bootstrap and um and uh, font awesome and things to um a little bit of jquery in order to be able to handle the user interface components and make it look good but what's what's the the point that the final point in all of this is this is just a single vision of what the interface should look like to the to the rest of the API. You may have a different vision, or if I was looking at it in a phone, for example, and we're building an app that uses it, then I'd have a different a different um um, perspective again you might want to have like a material design version of bootstrap to make it look within an android app for example to make it work fine and you may have very different look and feel and um, the nice thing about using bootstrap of course is that it works nice within different browsers and you saw that like if i went to um uh insomnia here then you know it works nice in here as well um and it's fine too. And again, if I was to look at this and search for it using my phone, um, it, it Bootstrap wouldn't make it work within your phone, and you know it would adapt accordingly. And that's why I use it. You know, so it's a, it's a, it's useful. So this is basically a database management tool for my quotations database. And um, and that's it. So that's the end of this particular le lesson and this series for for, for lecture twenty two. Thank you very much for watching.